This is scary. Oh my god. Wild horses might be roaming this island right now. Hey, look at that. Hoof prints. Holy ground. shit, Miller, are you alright? Quicksand, dude, it's yeah. quicksand. What? Quicksand? Damn. Damn. I'm coming. I gotta save CJ. He's sinking. Whoa. Come help me, quick. Good morning, sergeants. What is up? Welcome back to another adventure. Today, I'm giving you guys something super duper duper crazy. Something that you guys have seen on my channel before about two years ago. One of the videos that blew up my channel two years ago is when I got stranded on a deserted island with Oh My Gosh TV. Now, today, I am going back to a deserted island, a different deserted island with my boy CJ over here. What's up, everybody? We are, you, are officially the dumbest people that you know. We're literally the dumbest people that you know because we're literally taking two kayaks that we purchased last night from Walmart and we're gonna sail we're gonna sail away to a deserted island and spend the day there and explore Bro, it. What these are some cheap ass fing kayaks. Look how flimsy the oh, sides shit. are. <laughs> Bro, what the heck are we getting into? So all I need from you guys is to smash that like button, follow us on the adventure. I'm gonna be vlogging the whole adventure all the way there to the island and back home. Hopefully, if we get back home safe and sound. We don't know what to expect. We've never been to this island before. Hopefully, it's gonna go well for us. I don't know. Let's find out. All I need from you guys to do is subscribe to CJ's channel. His link is down below. Let's get him to 100,000 subscribers, you guys. He's almost there. And go to my Instagram, follow me on IG. Also, if you haven't noticed, I have new merch out. The links for the new merch is down below. You guys can actually see the pop-up for the new merch. You guys are gonna get this merch really quickly. It's not as slow as the last company that I was working with. So yeah, man, go smash the merch store. You guys are awesome. Let's get on this adventure. You guys don't even know the struggle to get in kayaks in an SUV. Oh, and we got one going up on top. All right, keep going, CJ, keep going, CJ. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be a shit show. If this thing flies off on the highway, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna die. Everything and everyone is telling us this is a bad idea. I agree with them, it is a bad idea, but bad ideas are crazy, and crazy means fun. We're literally gonna connect it with a string. Oh my god, alright. Hey, at least we got one inside. Yeah. That's all that matters. Alright, we are on the road right now. As you guys can see, we are hauling two freaking kayaks right here. One up top, oh, I'm barely secured. Look at this guy, it's just got like a string. <laughs> it's, a got a, it's got a string. It's got a string. A string of that. It's got a loose string, but it's all good. This is all for the adventure. I want you guys to be a part of this adventure with us. I want you guys to watch this adventure, thinking like, "Wow, I'm part of this adventure." This Mo Sargi and CJ facing adventure. And Ke where, where is he? Where's Kevin? Hi, Ke Hi Kevin. That's our lookout. That's our lookout. Kevin. Make sure the Coast Guard doesn't come. And, and make sure we don't Captain. die. And make sure we don't die today. <laughs> so this is something I've been wanting to do for a very, very long time. Ever since I did the first ever overnight challenge on a deserted island, gone completely wrong. As you guys know, the last time we were on an island, with me and Oh My Gosh TV, Omar did not secure the kayak to a tree, and the kayak ended up freaking floating away as the tide rose up on the island. It was a tiny mangrove island in the middle of Florida somewhere. This time we're picking a bigger island. Apparently Apparently, there are wild horses on this island. I'm not 100% sure about that. That's what the legend is. Apparently, there's a un unicorn living there. Apparently, Elvis Presley's there too, and Tupac Shakur, and Biggie. <laughs> Biggie's there too, apparently. This is what I've been hearing, guys, from the local tales from this guy back here named Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Hi. Hi. So yeah, guys, that's the story, and that's what's gonna happen. We're gonna go to an island. We're gonna spend the night there. We might actually spend the night there. I don't know yet. We're trying to see what the conditions are like, so let's hope it's good. We are not joking around. It's 44 degrees Fahrenheit outside. That means it's freaking cold. All right, my friends, I hope you guys are ready for something really, really epic. Right there, that island is where we're actually gonna be going. And it's actually a big island connected all the way to that forest over there. Now they say there's wild horses living on this island and that is one of the reasons why we want to go and camp out there the night because of the wild horses and we want to go and explore. So this is going to be really, really cool. Um, the tide is high right now and the current is actually strong. As you guys can see, the water is moving pretty, pretty quickly. 
So we're gonna have to slingshot around the island and somehow get on there, explore and search and try to find something cool for you guys to film on the island. Hi, Kevin. Hi. What, you crush your old man? Oh, old man. Kevin dropped his pills. I crushed it. All right, you guys, the adventure is about to begin. I'm very, very excited for this. Big shout out to KB over here for helping me out. I know I kind of look ridiculous right now, but it's all good. I'm gonna have a GoPro on running the whole time. I'm kayaking to the island, so I'm gonna be trying to make a very long video for you guys. Maybe an hour long, maybe two hours long. I don't know. I want this to be a really big video. We're gonna be exploring that island over there, and then that island over there, and then I don't know where to when we're gonna be sleeping and we're gonna be sleeping in one of two of these forests. The reason why we're gonna be sleeping in the forest is because we're gonna be um, safe from the water when it goes like really high and uh, this way Coast Guard can't see us actually in the forest at nighttime. The first one in the water over here. Let's do this CJ. In my opinion, I really wish we spent money on bigger kayaks because this seems very, very flimsy. And if I flip over in the water, I have a lot of expensive gear in here. Like I mean a lot, so I'm hoping I don't flip over in the water. I have very expensive gear. I'm holding a $2,000 camera. The GoPro is waterproof on my bag. Got, you realize how much equipment we've got? We've probably got two grand worth of equipment. No, I got about 5,000. I've got about 5,000 worth, worth of equipment worth in my backpack. That's all I'm blue with. Shit, about. man. <laughs> CJ's already complaining about the adventure, but he doesn't know. He's with Mo Sarji. Let's go, bro. We should have bought bigger kayaks, but it is what it is. Yeah, we got no life jackets. Yep, no life jackets. Let's go to that island over there. Because they're both two islands, they're both connected to each other. I don't know if my GoPro is filming this all correctly, but you know, hopefully it is. It is 44 degrees Fahrenheit outside, so that is really, really, really cold. But this is a really cool adventure. I hope you guys smash that like button. We are, what? Slow down. <laughs> Not gonna lie, these Walmart kayaks are pretty damn good. I've been wanting to do another island video for you guys in quite some time. And I'm, I'm happy that I'm finally getting a chance to do it. The thing is, it is super cold out. I wish the conditions were better. I wish I had a chance to do it this summer. But as you guys know, the summertime I was super busy with my wedding, with my new house, with YouTube and a whole lot of other things. And I'm happy that I'm finally getting a chance to do this for you guys. We're doing this just for y'all so you guys can have something epic to watch. If you can't get out there and do this on your own, you got my eyes, you guys. And this is a treat for you guys. As you guys can see right now, I am approaching the island. It is just dead ahead. It is a deserted island. Nobody lives on this island from what we know. But apparently there's some wild animals in the forests on that island there. And that one over there. I'm hoping we get to find some of these wild animals. And by wild animals, I'm talking about horses and lots of them. So I'm hoping the legends are true that there are horses on this island. We are approaching the island right now. Woo! All right, I have an idea. See the openings in there? Yeah. You want to go through those and explore those? Oh shit, shit, shit. Mo, 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 mo. Oh shit. Oh. You want to go explore those openings over there? Yeah, let's um... We can cut through the island there. We can... Cut through the island through this one up here. So we got to get a better vantage point to see where we're going to sleep tonight. Alright, let's do this. Please hit that subscribe button. This is the most sorted channel. We give you guys the crazy, the abandoned, the things that other people don't try. Can we go through those? I don't think we can go through those. I don't think we can. No. Let's hit up the sandbar. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, right through there. Let's go right through there. Yeah, see there's an opening right there. Damn. I think it's all gonna be sand like this. Yeah, let's turn back. So, we were gonna go through this little canal over here. We were gonna go through this little canal over here, but it's very shallow and I'm getting stuck in the sand. So we're gonna turn around and actually make our way up to the sandbar. Look at how cool this is though. Yeah, this is living a little right here. Hell yes. As you guys can see, that is the sandbar that we're gonna be embarking upon this island with CJ. This is really beautiful. I'm just trying to take all this in right now, not just for the video, but for myself, because this is where I'm in like my own serenity and peace right now. And we have made it. Folks, we have made it now. Woo! 
<laughs> Sorry. High five, bro. High five, buddy. Damn. All right, you guys, unlike when Omar and I went to the abandoned island in Florida, we actually left the kayaks on the sandbank. Right now, it's actually high tide, so I don't think the water is going to go up any higher than this. We're going to leave them here, and we're going to explore the island. Already, I'm finding these shoe crabs over here. Look at this. These are shells for shoe, horseshoe crabs, is what they're called. Um, there's berries on the island, and if there's berries, that means there's animals. If there's animals, there might be some wild horses. Apparently, these islands here in Delaware have wild horses in them. So, I'm, I'm hoping we can find some wild horses. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want more adventures like this, because to me, this is serenity. I love doing stuff like this, and I've always been wanting to do, like, exploration that has to do with, like, animals and stuff. So, if you guys want stuff like this, uh, and I think you guys kind of do. Um, let me know in the comments below. Just spam the comments. Do more, do more, do more. I'm going to try to make this video as long and action-packed as possible. So, right now we're just going to explore the island and see what we can find. Oh. My. God. For those of you that don't know, this is the full body of what a horseshoe crab looks like. Full shell and everything. Smells terrible. I don't know why I always find these things washed up on islands dead. It's like these things can't freaking live on their own or something like that. Look at this thing. Oh shit, I just broke his hand. Sorry, Mr. Crab, but it's already dead. There's a baby one over here too. They look like aliens. I feel like we're gonna find so much cool shit on this island because it is an old, obviously a very, very old, old island and hurricanes, floods, and natural, you know, nature takes its course and basically washes up things on the island. So I'm hoping I can find a shipwreck or a boat hopefully we can find some wild horses but so far we haven't seen anything and these islands here in the delaware area they're supposed to have some wild horses holy shit thorns everywhere look at this you guys looks like a teepee of some sort this was probably made by nature i don't know i just feel like we're gonna get lucky and find something really cool on this island yo I found camp. you found camp what'd you find Oh, a teepee. I've seen that. We could sleep on that. <sighs> we'll move this big one here. Yeah. We'll shove it out of the way. You know what I mean? I'm down. Yeah, we can sleep under it. I just don't want it to fall on us while we're sleeping. Oh, shit. <laughs> Well, if it hasn't fallen, dude, like, what are the odds of that being like that? Man? Bro, I'm telling you, it's like good luck. We've been like, so a lot of people were like, don't go to the island. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm like, we're doing it. Like, we're doing it. I don't care. We're doing it. And I feel like everything's just working out by itself in a good, positive way. So, positive vibes. let that That's sink in. But I was like, almost like a naysayer about this. I was like, dude, this will never work. It's too dangerous. Yeah, no, I've done it before in worse conditions. Well, listen, I listen to Mo Sarji. We're going to keep pushing through and give you all one heck of a video. This is a piece of cake for me. See, this is the power of positivity. You stay positive no matter what you think is going to happen. Just don't even think about what's going to happen, all right? If you have an idea, just go forward with your idea. Execute the plan and forget about all the negativity and the naysayers. Just be you, do you, and live a little, man. Everything on this island is sharp. Yeah, like what? thorns, Hell. big vines, big dude, thorns. That is thick, thick, big vines. I know. Look at this. This is crazy. That's a veiny one, dude. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we can find those horses, though. What? This pine cone right there. I swear to you. Come look at my foot. <laughs> like no joke. Really? CJ's already freaking out. This is about no, to be legit. A Watch. You had a pine cone? Yeah. Before? Watch. There's a pine cone. Watch the pine cone to the right of the screen. How about now? I don't know, bro. Weird. CJ kind of had a pine cone thrown at him. It could have been. I don't know. Maybe it's an animal that doesn't want us here. We are gonna officially split up. See you later, CJ. We're gonna split up and go off on our own and see what we can discover because I don't want the same video as CJ and he doesn't want the same video as me. So if you guys want to watch his version, it'll be down on the link below. We're both trying to make really, really long videos of this place. Um, I really, really hope I can find some sort of creature out here, man. 
That's my goal. Maybe a snake. If we can find some snakes out here, oh, that'd be so heavenly. When I landed on the sandbank, I thought I seen an abandoned boat or something blue on this island on the other side. So I'm walking over there right now, trying to see if I can find that boat. If it is even is a boat, you never know. There could have been a boat that's washed up from a hurricane. I'm entering a more destroyed part of the island. Still no sign of the boat. I thought I'd seen it in this vicinity, but I guess it was just a trick of the sun, a trick of the ocean, and a trick of the trees. But holy crap, look at this tree right here. Whoa, this is so cool. Look at this. Such a cool looking tree. I still haven't found any part of this island where I think I want to sleep the night. Um, we did bring sleeping bags. We didn't bring a tent. We went to Walmart late at night last night and they did not have any tents at all. But it's all good. We'll sleep in sleeping bags and that'll be it. I actually might dig a hole. I brought something really cool that I want to show you guys throughout this video of how I'm going to be sleeping here, how I'm going to dig my hole and how we're going to survive here the night. So you guys want to stick around and see everything that we have to offer for this video today. Oh my goodness. Holy shit, I didn't even see you there. What the hell? Dude, look what I just found. What? Cactus. I can't believe. I thought cactuses grow in a tropical climate. And we're in Delaware, you guys. This is not a tropical climate. Like, at least not in the winter time or fall time. Bro, there's cactus all over us. Oh, this is so cool. Look at this little sandbank. Dude, you know what I was just telling him? I'm like, dude, we can sleep here tonight. On the sandbank. Yeah, right on the sandbank. So the water comes up and f***s us over, right? <laughs> How awesome is this though, Mo? This is beautiful, bro. Absolutely. You know, if it was warm, I'd be out there swimming right now. See, this would, you know what we need to come back and do in the summertime? Is uh, come back here and swim. Yeah. That'd be a good place to swim. We can set up camp right up there where you are. Oh dude, my god. Dude, what just happened? Did you get that on camera? <laughs> Holy shit, oh I just fell through the ground holy shit no are you all right yeah i'm dude, good what in the hell i just fell through the ground dude literally it was ground and you just went straight <laughs> down <laughs> did you get that on camera yes i did oh my god holy shit man. holy crap i literally just went through that it was solid ground i'm standing oh. and the ground just collapsed underneath me how cool it would be if we found like some sort of like hidden tunnel here i'm a safety dude, hazard this island most rg island <laughs> we need a ha haunted horse turtle island. A haunted horse turtle island? <laughs> Is it even haunted? <laughs> Damn. Whoa. See how cool this is, man? Dude, this is beautiful. Like, legit, this is so awesome. It's so wow. tranquil and peaceful. I'm using big words here, folks. I can't believe this, bro. This is crazy, isn't it? <laughs> this is a dream come true for me. Oh Again. God. Wow. Shit, man. Hey. You want to take your sergeants in the face of nation on an adventure? We got to get around this. Oh, f <laughs> we got to get through all that dead tree. So right now we're yeah. trying to walk. I like, found out why, like you saw through over there. Why? And why all these trees are like this? Look, the land is just being washed away. Yeah, it's like literally it's just being. Like, yeah. The tide comes up. Yeah, isn't that called erosion? Yeah. Isn't that called? This, sand, this island's not gonna be here much longer, probably. Probably not. I mean, it'll be here for a while, but I mean, it's not gonna last. Forever. No. I think it's called erosion when that happens. The water just washes away the land. Hey, look what I found. I don't know if this is a piece of glass or if it's from the ocean. Looks cool. It's sitting here right by these seashells or sea rocks. The man's trying to make his life a living hell by walking through this one. I'm just gonna climb back up. What the? I don't know, bro. Try it out. Actually, I want to do that too. Don't die on me, CJ. Starting to pick up. Yeah. The wind is picking up. That's scary. Weird. There is a storm that's supposed to come in tonight. What? Yeah, I told you that before we left. Now you're telling me this? I told you that before we left. The waves are kicking up and. He's saying now that there might be a storm coming in. Okay, this is scary. As we're walking the coast, I'm trying to see if we can find some sort of crab. Continuing crab legs for dinner. I'm telling you, man, somebody was messing around here. <laughs> Listen, if you ever get the chance to do something like this, please do it because it's the most peaceful and most relaxing thing ever. I'm wet, I don't give a shit. It's cold, I don't give a shit. This is fun. This is living a little. This is a definition of why I even started my channel. Living a little in full force right now. 
<laughs> so Mo doesn't have the most waterproof. Gear. These are waterproof, but these are three hundred dollars. These are waterproof, but they're three hundred dollars, and my wife just bought them for me for my birthday. So <laughs> these these boots, I've used them twice now, and they're already destroyed. Oh, Everybody man. knows me. Shoes and boots do not last when they get That's destroyed. Right. This is going to be very tricky. Getting through here and not getting wet and poking the nuts. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I need my little sergeants. Little yeah, there we go. Clear a path. All right, we made it onto this beautiful sandbar over here. Wow, that was rough. Never taking this guy's advice by walking through a bunch of trees. We're on the other side of the island, you guys. Look at how beautiful this is. Woo! Here's the weird thing. Back there, there's a couple of bricks, okay? Yeah. Here, look, at this, look at the amount of bricks right here. Oh shit, you're right. I didn't even see those bricks there. How the hell does a bunch of bricks get onto an island? Like, literally, like, there had to have been something built somewhere. Like Gee. some... Something somewhere was built. Oh, dude, look at this. What? There's like a pool, like a like a oh, natural look, pool. It's like, our, it's like our own little pool. Hey, look at that hoof prints. Yep. There might be a horse here. Might be abandoned horses, like everyone says it's on this island here. Wild horses might be roaming this island right now. Dude, this is sick, man. Wow. You can walk down into this. Yeah, hell yeah. This is like a, a natural pool, you guys. Look at that, another dead crab. Yeah, I'm definitely coming back, bro. It's gonna be a muddy pool. <laughs> oh, it's sinking. Yeah, it's, oh. this is swamp. Oh, bro, I'm sinking. I'm sinking. Careful, it could be quicksand. This pool is actually not a swimmable pool. It's full of dead horseshoe crabs everywhere inside of it. Um, and it smells bad. So this is a swamp. That's quicksand, dude. It's quicksand. What quicksand? Damn. Damn. I'm coming. Holy shit, dude. Are you actually stuck? Huh? Hang on, let me turn. Every time I wiggle, I go down even further. Shit, he's stuck. I can't get down there. That's pure. Oh fuck, the rope's in the kayak too. Is it actually quicksand? Yes. Shit. Shit. CJ stuck in quicksand on the island. Okay. Um. Um, I, gotta, I gotta get you a branch, okay? Don't move. I'm gonna get you a branch. Okay. Don't move. Don't move. I gotta get him a branch. He's stuck in quicksand. Quicksand is a real thing. I actually sunk in quicksand when I was a kid, and I almost actually died. So. Fuck. Damn. These trees. These trees are strong. Shit. Shit. I gotta get some. I gotta get something long. And hard, and I know that's what she said, but we gotta help CJ, my boy. Oh, this might be it right here. Might be it right here. Yeah, CJ, my boy, Mo Sarji to the rescue, bitch. Uh, 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 I gotta save CJ. He's sinking. Uh, I'm coming. I'm coming for you. Okay. Oh shit, it's not long enough. Shit, it's not long enough. Grab onto it. Grab, grab it, grab it. All right, I have oh. to switch hands. The camera's heavy and the branch is heavy. Come on, there we go. Ooh, there we go, there we go. Is it that fucking, dude? we were stuck I'm, in there I'm, good. I'm, Whew. Yeah, shit. All right, lessons learned, do oh, not go into. Stinks. Yeah, it's gonna stink because it's a swamp. Dude, let me go wash my shoes off. Right? Lessons learned, off. do Don't not go into a swamp on an island. So guys. There's footprints, horse footprints all along this island. You know what, I'm gonna show you guys my GPS that we are actually on an island. The mainland is just on the other side over there. As if y'all can see this, this is the island that we're on right now. We docked just over here on mainland and this is the island where, where we're at right now. Always remember, adventures like this, especially ones that take a lot of energy out of you, bring a lot of water. We were this close to not bringing any water with us on this adventure, which was would have been really, really stupid. Brought a lot of water. We brought some snacks. My bag is actually like 30 pounds overweight, and that's because I brought myself one of these awesome shovels right here. I'm gonna dig me a hole to sleep in, just like in the military, you guys. 
we're all about the adventure. So I brought a shovel and you know what? I might actually make myself a sandcastle. You know what? I should have a sandcastle competition with CJ and see who can dig the best damn sandcastle. Yo, CJ, my boy! Let's dig a sandcastle! Yeah, man. We, we be digging sandcastles out here on these islands. You know why? Because we don't give a shit. We're sergeants, we live a little, we like to do crazy things. And I think I'm actually gonna dig a hole all the way to China right now, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Wilson! Wilson! <laughs> if there was anybody even remotely close to this island right now, they definitely think something's wrong. Yeah! You wanna build a sandcastle? <laughs> what the hell are you doing? We're, I'm building a sandcastle. You brought a shovel? Yeah, bro. Or did you find a shovel? I brought a shovel. For real? 20 bucks at Walmart, bro. I this, didn't even know you bought that, dude. This is the best shovel ever. What in the hell? Look at this, it's collapsible. What? It's actually pretty cool. Walmart, you owe me money for this ad. Um, look at that. Oh my gosh, Put dude. it in your backpack. I didn't even know you bought that the other night. <laughs> Yo, look at this casualty of war. Rest in peace, Crab. This is Mr. Krabs from Spongebob. Oh no, you guys. I just found Mr. Krabs' arm. Take a look at this. Oh, Mr. Krab. Let's go throw it on CJ. Place your bets right now. CJ is going to be so scared of this. Check this out. Oh, damn. <laughs> I was like, what? Wait, why is there a bench on an island? There's a picnic bench on an island. This is insane. The thing, it probably got washed away by some sort of storm. Guaranteed. And there's a pole. Wait, there's two poles? You think somebody was trying to play volleyball here? Volleyball, for sure. What? But it's deserted. You know what that means? There could be some sort of structure on the island. Yeah, exactly. There could be. Take a look at how magnificent this view is. CJ's having a picnic over there. There's a boat in the background. Crazy, and there's a, there's a bird. I just seen a bird over here walking legit on this water. The swamp, there it is right there. Walking on water, that's crazy. This is probably the biggest horseshoe crab that I've ever seen. And it's completely gone, all that's left is a shell. The armor. We are the only ones on this island, the only footprints. The CJ and I going through here. This is mad, man. Just the, just the beauty of this is unreal. Right now our goal is to get to that forest over there on the other side of the island. Oh shit, dude. We can't actually walk there. We're surrounded by marshlands. We're gonna have to kayak there. Oh man. There is no way to get to that forest and that forest might have all the horses in it. it might have I mean, we might be able to get over there, but how are we gonna get back across when the tide comes up? Yeah, if we, we look down we, there, it's low tide. We can probably walk it. But if we walk it and the water goes up, we're pretty much stuck there. But man, is it ever worth it because there actually might be animals there. We're seeing footprints everywhere. So it took us a shitload of time to get to the end of this island over here to realize that we cannot actually walk to the other side because it's all quicksand and that muck that CJ got stuck in earlier. We're gonna have to kayak around the island to the other forest behind me and more adventures for you guys, more filming for y'all. So hope you guys are enjoying this. And keep in mind, we could just sleep in that forest, but I love the fact of knowing that there might be horses in that forest. This is what all the locals have told us. There's wild horses living there. There could be some deer there as well. It's just a cool thing for us to get on camera. Something I've always wanted to see on camera, wild horses. Obviously you see horses all over farms, but never wild horses. So that'd be something really cool and special for me to film. What'd you catch? It's an actual like horseshoe crab thing or whatever you want to call it. Uh, what do you call them things that kids get at the beach? A um, uh, there's something in there. Yeah, see it? Watch. Yeah. Wash him out a little bit. See him? Yeah, he's in there. Oh, that's so cool. Let me get some daylight. Yeah. Hey, buddy. You know what that is? That's uh, they trade shells. These things will find yeah, a new yeah. shell and they'll make it their home. Man, that is awesome. All right, buddy, we're gonna put you back. That's pretty cool. After Mosarji examines you, look at this, you guys. Wow. There's the claw inside. He is alive. He's just pretending to be dead. Yeah, I can see him kind of moving in there. I'm just gonna leave him here on the sand where we found him. What is that? What the fuck is that? Is that, is that, a, it like that, is that a stork? 
I have no idea what this thing is. Freaking loud and scary. Yeah. Oh, it sounded mad. Yo, you're no fucking good. Man. Dude, that's a big crane. Oh, shit. There it is, there it is. Wow. Wow. That's beautiful. Well, that's the first animal we've seen over here. But we're looking for horses. Wild horses. All right, y'all, we made it back to the kayaks. We're about to kayak to the other side of the island right there. We couldn't get through there because of the swamp lands and the marshes over there. And there's that crazy crane again, or is that an eagle? Oh, that's a hawk. But we're gonna kayak over there. I'm gonna throw my GoPro camera back on. And yeah, man, and be over there. Hopefully we can find those elusive horses. All right. We good to go. Let's do this. All right, you guys, we are leaving that side of the island, making our way to the other side. This is just unreal. I hope you guys are enjoying these POV GoPro shots. I honestly hope to God we managed to find some horses on that island, on that side, because I'm gonna be very disappointed if we don't, I mean, I won't be disappointed, but I'm just looking forward to finding some horses over there. So CJ's saying there's no actual sandbar to get into that forest. So we're gonna try to go through these little canals here, hopefully not get stuck and get lucky and find something, find a way to get into that side of the forest. Hopefully it's deep enough and hopefully it gets me to the forest. This is uncharted territories for us. Oh man, no, 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 no. I see. The ground right here. No way. Bro, this is so shallow. This is so shallow. Oh my god. This is shallow. Yeah, this is very shallow. I don't know. Look at all these clams. I know, right? This is Clam City. Look at this one here. Let's try a different canal. Yeah. This one's not looking hopeful. Oh, it stinks here. Oh, man. There's clams everywhere. There we go. Look at all the clams right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. I think so. There are clams everywhere in this place. Wow. No wonder this place is so rich in life and seafood and there's just so much to eat out here. As you guys can see, there's all these little channels over here that you can go through, but 100% you're gonna get stuck. And that's what we're trying not to do is get stuck. It's actually not deep here where we are right now too. We might be able to walk. I don't even I don't even care about getting my feet wet anymore. Yeah, I'm touching ground here. Oh man. Two guys stuck in the mud. Two guys, one swamp. I'm literally moving nowhere. Yeah, because we're stuck in mud. There's no way for us to get there. Why is our luck like that? You know, usually when something's this hard, it means there's something good in that forest. Exactly. <laughs> it's just extra hard now. Why do I have to be so heavy? Yo, we might actually be able to squeeze through here, bro. This is scary. This is legit scary. So I'm gonna be the guinea pig and test out and see how far I can take my kayak through this shallowness. <laughs> this is gonna take forever. Keep in mind, I'm doing this for y'all. So you guys can have something cool to watch. Oh man, there's no way. As it gets thinner and thinner in here, there is no way, this is crazy. Ugh. I'm getting covered up in mud right now. Yeah, I'm kind of stuck. <laughs> wow. Mo Sarji, you freak of nature. I mean, this is kind of cool though, to be honest, you guys. Just to be stuck through this is an adventure on its own. And I'm gonna try and see if there's a way for me to get through here. Ugh. Oh, I'm covered in mud. All right, I'm standing in my kayak right now. Well, We'd have to walk on the grass. That's what I think. 
Well, I'm gonna attempt to walk on the grass, use the grass as actual as an actual platform. The forest is just right there, you guys. It's within grasp. Um, wish me luck. <laughs> what? I made it off of mine. Oh. Whew. Now, what do we do with the kayaks? We put them up on the grass. Bring them up to the grass. Yeah, you're right. It is solid ground here. Good job, CJ. Woo. We literally just came through this canal. Oh, you're like on mud over there. Yeah. Careful. All right. Let's walk to that forest. I'm gonna keep my GoPro up for you guys. So we. I don't want to carry my expensive camera. It's in my backpack. I just don't want to risk it falling in this mud and sinking. So you guys are gonna be my eyes right now. We're walking through the marshland. Yeah, damn good thing I brought my boots with me. Oh no. Huh? It's getting worse the more we go up. This right here was probably the smartest thing we could do is walk. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, there's no way we could have kayaked in here. The kayaks are Seriously, way. Let's drop a pin. Drop a pin on that. Drop a pin real quick. I'm gonna make my way into the forest. Hey, we're on solid ground now. Yes, this is beautiful. We're on solid ground. Wow. Just take a look at where we are right now. We're on another part of this island. This is super cool. This is what I mean by going out there and doing it and doing it crazy. If we had just given up, we wouldn't have made it here. And you never know what's gonna be lying inside of this forest. This forest looks so much creepier than the other one. I'm just gonna keep walking with my GoPro until I get inside and then I'll whip out my big camera. Dude, just going through this is insane. Wow. This is all on an abandoned island. Dude. Yeah, but it's not. This is cool. We made it. We made it, you guys. Wow. Unreal. Hey, horsies, are you guys here? Damn. Horsies. Ow. Where are you? Hell yeah. Fuck yes. Wow. All right, guys, it's time to explore this other island. I thought I heard, dude, I, I swear I heard a horse running. Like hoofs. That's what that was, it wasn't you? No, that wasn't me. I heard horse hoofs. So we gotta pay attention for a few signs for horses, like horse poop. I know it's crazy to think that there might be wild horses on an island, but this is what everybody in this area here in Delaware tell us. They tell us we're going off the information of the locals here. I'm not from around here, CJ is, and he tells me that there are horses on these islands. We don't know which island, but Hopefully it's this one. So this side of the forest on this island is different than the other one that we were on. Cause the other one actually was a bit more sandy. And this one is a bit more foresty, which is cool. Huh? Let's yeah, let's split up. Okay, let me know if you see any animals. Notice how this forest is more foresty than the other one. The other one was more sandy. Yeah. I wish I had my drone to throw it up in the air to show you guys exactly the island that I'm on. But I left my drone back in Canada. So here we go guys, about to go into this forest and explore for the first time ever. In my opinion, this is the greatest place to camp out. We're covered by the trees in case it rains a lot. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. And we're on the higher part of the island, so in case the island does flood, we're good. If you've counted how many times I've said island, make sure you comment it down below in numerals. Let me know how many times I've said island in this video. I'm pretty sure I've said it a lot. I can swear, I just seen an animal move, a really large one over there. I can't tell if it was a horse or if it's a deer, but it jumped in the bushes. Keep your eyes wide open. Let me know if you guys spot the animal. Oh, there it is, there it is. It was a deer. There it is, there it is, there it is. CJ! We got a deer over here. A deer? Yeah, 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 dead ahead. I told you guys, there's animals on this island. It may not be a horse, but it's a motherfucking deer. And you guys know what that means. Bammy, my boy, barbecue gonna happen tonight. Can someone please explain to me how a fully grown deer 
is able to sustain itself and live on an island. What is it that it's eating? I mean, I know there's like trees and shit and I know they're vegetarians, but what the fuck? A deer, a full size one on an island. It went that way and I'm pretty sure you guys seen it on camera. I gotta stay very quiet right now. I'm trying to see if it's hiding here somewhere. So the deers, they have really good ears and 100% it knows I'm trying to find it right now. But where is it gonna run to? The ocean? I don't think so. So I seen it running through this bush over here. Tons of thorns. I don't know how these deers do it. Hopefully I can go around this way somehow. Ooh, look, a Christmas tree. I find it very weird that I haven't heard from CJ. Although I called him to come here. Out of all the adventures that I've ever been on, this has to be one of my most favorite ones ever. Stalking a deer on an island in the ocean. Oh. There's something over there. It would be nice if I can climb a really high tree and maybe get a vantage point of where this deer could be. Still have no clue where CJ my boy is, but I'm trying to find Bammy my boy right now. Oh, there are thorns everywhere. It was a bad idea wearing these pants. I pretty much destroyed my Adidas, rest in peace. But fuck it, find me some Bambi, man. Oh my God, for a second I thought that was a giant ass anaconda. Look at how this vine, holy crap. I've never seen anything like this. Take a look at how this vine wraps around the tree. Oh my goodness, it goes all the way up. Wow, God is beautiful. Made my way onto this new part of the island. It's all wet here, more swampy. Whoa, what the fuck was that? That's CJ breaking logs. CJ? Look at this, you guys. Another tree. What? Who was breaking logs? That's why I was just asking you. You didn't see that deer? No. Dude, it was massive. I got it on camera. Take a look at this. Another one of those vines. We made it to the end of the island over here. Trying to find evidence of more deer. Oh, look. Speaking of evidence, deer poop. And it's fresh. Yeah, that's fresh poop right there. Damn. Wow, what are the odds of that? Yeah. As I'm saying evidence, <laughs> we find deer poop. We're on the edge of the island now. Now I... Uh, well, what do you think, dude? Huh? It's pretty wild, ain't it? We gotta find a place to sleep, bro. I know. But first... We ain't sleeping in this prickly shit here, man. There's a thorn every three feet. No. There's no way to sleep in here, man. See, the, the, these deers are good at hiding, bro. They're camouflaged. Yeah. And they hide in the thorns. There is a trail. Look at that. Yeah, dude, There's a trail made by the deers. Wow, you dumb deers are leading us to you. Look, I bet this is where they left. All that way down, see? Yeah. So this area must be full of life. Okay, you go to the right, I'll go to the left. We'll see if we can surround them and capture them on camera. Keep in mind, guys, we don't want to hurt any animals. We just want to film them for this adventure. As the sun starts to go down a little bit more, it's starting to get a bit colder. I have an extra pair of clothes in my bag. I'm going to be changing soon into warmer pants. Cause these pants that I'm wearing right now are not warm at all. Oh. I hear something. I hear something. These deers might actually be by the water. Or hiding in these. Oh, there's a trail over there. Oh. It's just hard to walk because there's thorns everywhere. Someone's tied a rope here. Oh man. Yeah. What is that about? Hulk smash. Ooh, okay. <laughs> That's a dead tree. Very dead. 
all right guys jumping into the night as you guys can see it is raining right now and CJ called it he said it might be raining here on the island ah oh, this what a night this is we, we think we're just gonna camp out here under this tree CJ just got his poncho on over here and I'm already soaked <laughs> I'm soaked too I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see me because I'm going to have my light here. But I messed so up dead. my camera visor. I can't even see anything. But here, actually take a look at that. I think you guys can see me. I got my poncho over here too. It's creepy here at nighttime. We've actually been sitting around. And is it starting to rain harder? Yeah. We got this pretty cool canvas over here. Like a tree to cover us. It's a pretty thick tree. So we're going to be covered from the rain. And we're just going to spend the night here on the island. But the rain has taken a toll on my camera. My visor isn't working, so I can't actually see what I'm filming. So I'm hoping I can actually film properly like this. Um, I do have another camera though, but right now I'm gonna set up camp, show you guys how I'm gonna set up camp. I was gonna dig a hole and just literally sleep in a hole with my sleeping bag. I got my sleeping bag right here. Ugh. Oh, there goes my sleeping bag. This is getting harder and trickier with the rain. The rain literally messed up my camera. It sucks, but it is what it is. We are stuck on an island. There's no way we're gonna be going home tonight because the tide is really high. So it's gonna be extra hard for us to even get home. The tide is high, that means the current is extra strong. So that's extra dangerous. We would literally die if we even tried to go home tonight. So we're stranded on this island tonight. But hey, that's that's the point of this adventure, right? It's for us to be stuck on this island. Now, during the day, um, we were saving some battery. We were actually scouring the island trying to see if we can find horses. There were no horses. Um, we found deer and that's about it. And I caught one deer on camera. So yeah, man, it's time to set up camp and just chill for the night and hopefully get some sleep tonight. As you guys can see, CJ Faison has his camp set up over here. I'm setting up my sleeping bag right here. Um, this is gonna be cool. I've actually never slept in a sleeping bag before, believe it or not. I've never slept in a sleeping bag before. Really? Yeah, for real, never. But this is gonna be cool, I can't wait. CJ's tripping out because I just seen some spiders on this island but it's all good Damn, check it out, out check island. it out you check crazy? it out check it out i'm in my bag this is cool you guys want in right, you guys want in <laughs> this is awesome bro this is really cool going in. yeah this is really 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 cool i love how we're just like surrounded by sand and trees we actually got the cover of this tree above us cj what are you doing under that i'm doing naughty things i mean it, it looks like it you look like a like an ice cream sandwich Mm. Speaking of ice cream sandwiches, I've got an ice cream sandwich to eat. I kid you not, you guys. I literally have an ice cream sandwich. It's freeze dried. I'm about to test this out. I've never eaten one of these before in my life. This is gonna be cool, though. It's gonna be cool to eat. So let's let's find out if it's gonna be good or not. What the hell is that? What the? Hell? Bro, I brought an ice cream bar with me. I brought I'm a to sleeping bag for this one. What is that? I brought an ice cream bar oh with my, me. How the Oh, it's freeze dry freeze, ice cream. Freeze dried. Literally smells like an ice cream. Let me bar. smell that. Oh man, <laughs> no way. Oh, that's awesome. First things first. If y'all aren't on my level, get on my level because I am about to eat a freeze dried ice cream bar on a deserted island. This is gonna be so freaking cool. Are we ready? You ready, CJ? Yeah, you go for Set. it. Set. Holy shit. You gotta take a bite. Nope, won't happen. Dude, it's yummy. Freeze dried ice cream, not happening. It's man. yummy. I like my ice cream cold. Typically. It tastes just like an ice cream bar. That's crazy. It literally. The crunch? Mmm. The crunch does me in. The crunch makes me feel like I'm like eating some kind of bug. You know those crunch chocolate bars? Yeah. Tastes just like that. What? This is actually the best thing I've ever eaten. Mm mm. Mmm. What the hell was that? I can swear I just seen something run by. That's what I just mean. Like seriously, there's something making noise over there. Hello? Hello? Spirits of this island? I'm trying to enjoy my fake... Oh, um, hell no. We don't need to summon no spirits and demons and shit. <laughs> I'm trying to enjoy my uh, fake um, ice cream bar over here. Hello? Dude, there's something under there. I heard something run by. It could be a, a deer or it could be a, the Aquaman. Aquaman probably. What the hell's an Aquaman? Oh, he lives in the ocean and he comes out and kills people at nighttime. I don't know, bro. I'm just making yeah, okay. this shit up. <laughs> All right, guys. Our next item on Mo Sarge's Island Food Adventure. Today, I have chosen Nutter Puffs. I've actually never tried these. 
They look pretty yummy. Um, I found a stand here on the island that's selling these. I'm just joking. I bought them off mainland. But let's go ahead and try them out. Holy shit, these are yummy. They look nasty. Oh my god. These are actually yummy. What the hell? No, bro, I'm not even joking. These are actually yummy as hell. You know what really yummy? Mm. Them salt and vinegar. Fuck that. This is yummier. Oh my god. I had to buy me a whole factory of this. Guys, if you love me, my um, address is down below. Please send me shit tons of this. Because this is so yummy. We're going to um, sleep now. This light is so bright. My other lights, they all died. They're all chargeable. Hold up. I'm going to try to make this like lower. Uh, okay, there we go. All my other lights died. We're actually going to sleep now. I'm in my sleeping bag. Hopefully, we survive the night. But I don't think there's any monsters on the island um, besides CJ. But it's all good. He's a different type of monster. On that note, I'm not going to record throughout the night because this is literally my last battery. And I need it for tomorrow morning once I wake up. I love you guys. Um, thank you for like coming along with us. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Smash that like button. And once again, I got new merch on teespring.com slash LEL merch. You guys can get it there. Link is down below. Help support the adventures and help support the videos by getting yourself some awesome merch. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. It is morning time right now, you guys. Good morning. It's like, I think, 6.30 a.m. or some shit like that. My phone is dead. My phone's <sighs> dead, too. Dude, I'm hoping those kayaks are still there in the marshlands. That was a rough night, man. That was a creepy night. That was the creepiest night I've ever had my entire life spending the night in the woods. I've only spent the night in the woods one time before, dude. Yeah, and this wasn't some Brokeback Mountain shit. Like, this was actually, like, re legit. Like, this was cool this is probably the craziest adventure i've ever been on this battery is about to die so i'm going to try to conserve battery and save my gopro to getting out of here we're going to film us getting out of here this has been a crazy ride man the nighttime was creepy in this island not gonna lie animals everywhere deers i don't know where these deers are coming from that's I, the thing man it's like a, it's a it's really strange here yeah i have yet to see a horse but I guess this isn't the island of horses. Like, they say, they do see, like, we've seen the hoofs on the sandbars on the other side of the island last night. I mean, yesterday afternoon. But we saw no horses here. So, I don't know. To be continued, I guess, if you guys want us to go keep searching islands and finding wild horses on islands, let us know in the comments below. But as of right now, we're going to head to the kayaks and film our trip back home. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. You underestimated where we slept last night. It's a long walk. It is super cold, but the sun is already starting to shine. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not even awake right now. Yeah, <laughs> you almost tripped. Super good though. That we're getting out of here. I just hope our kayaks are still there. And if they're not, then fuck it. We're swimming across, bro. All right, guys. We found our way back out to the kayaks. I'm trying to get through this bush. Hopefully, we can find our kayaks, and hopefully, they're still there. Damn. Oh yeah. Right there, baby. I'm walking through some real muddy shit over here. Wow, we're almost home, kids. We're almost home. If the kayaks are still there, we should pick them up and drag them out to the water. Be easier for us. What? A bottle. That reminds me of Red Dead Redemption, too. You play in that game and you find like old medicine bottles. I find it weird that we can't see our footprints from when we came in. Here. Careful. Oh shit. Oh, there's the kayaks. They're still here? Yes. Yes. I just want to take all this in before I get out of here. Unreal, unreal adventure. I can't believe they're still here. So I guess the tide didn't rise at nighttime. Look how much lower it is now. What do you mean? Look how low the tide is. Oh, yo. Oh my god. It's so much lower than when we came in. There's barely any water in here now. Grief, there's like barely any water at all, guys. If you all can see. <laughs> Yo, let's get the hell out of here. I can't believe the tide has gone down so much. 
Like you can't even kayak through this like oh, we did. My paddle. The the water has gone down so much. Wow. Wow. So we're just gonna drag our kayaks out to the water now. Bro, we can't even get up from there. The water's gone. Dude, there's like no water left. We're actually stuck. We're actually stranded because all the water is gone. How are we gonna get out of here? This is awesome. Oh my god. We could just walk around or walk around that way. Oh yeah. Fuck. Oh, wow. Wow. This is unreal. Oh no. Oh no, that's very deep. Very deep. I did not expect that. <laughs> I did not expect that my my feet are wet now. Three, two. Don't push or nothing. Don't flip over. I know, that's gonna scare me. Beautiful CJ. Good job. Good job. Oh there, CJ made it. CJ made it, and that means I can make it. Ugh. All right, y'all, I think we're gonna end this off right here. What a beautiful morning, super duper duper cold. Thank you all so much for being a part of this crazy adventure. I don't know how long this video is, but I purposely made it long because I know you guys like the long videos. Bye, CJ. What up, dude? Say goodbye. I'm freaking exhausted. Go subscribe. Yeah, we're exhausted, we're tired. I need a real bed. If Go see my wife. If you to like your video, they need to do that right now. You guys need to subscribe. Woo! I love you guys. Don't ever forget, stay positive. Be positive. In the comments, I want to see nothing but positivity. And I'm going to be pinning some of your positive comments. And don't forget, there is new merch. Oh my god, I'm about to hit the rocks. There is new merch out right now. Limited time only. It's down below. You guys can check it out. You click on the link. And this merch is actually a faster merch sale. You're going to be getting your stuff much quicker than usual. So yeah, man. On that note, you guys are awesome. Don't forget to be you. Do you stay positive. And just fucking live a little, baby. Woo! I'll see you guys. Take my bag. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, I'm still recording. Are you really yeah. Cool. Uh, uh. Okay. All right. So the adventure is not done. <laughs> dude, I'm stuck in mud. All right. I fell. I fell in the water. My bag. I'm an idiot for keeping my bag on my backpack. It's freezing cold. I fell in the water. I flipped over. Yo, yo, take your paddle. Give me my paddle. It's cold in this water. Oh my god, it's freezing, dude. Holy shit. How am I gonna get the water out of my kayak? Is there water in your kayak? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, here, I need to, I need to, here, I need to stop filming and get out of this mud because I'm stuck in mud right now. I literally can't move. Dude. Here, you guys can look. I'm stuck in mud. I'm stuck in mud. This is crazy. This is crazy. I, I know how to get out of this. Oh, my ankle. My ankle. Here, take my GoPro and film with my GoPro. I'm about to die. Oh, fuck, bro. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I got, you. I, got whoa. You. I got you. Don't worry. All right. All right. All right, here. Go up on that sandbar. Oh, dude. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to start getting hypothermia really soon. Yeah, you need to hurry up, man. So, guys, Mo is literally freezing in this water right now. Like, the water is actually, like, freaking cold the air out here is less than 39 degrees fahrenheit so um i mean hey i'm canadian yeah but i mean canadian water and american water are cold and this water is cold i'm like stuck in mud like really deep mud okay is there any way you can carry my backpack just here for now just a second yes yeah, sir um here do this on your left okay yeah set that bitch right up here <laughs> Bro, I wonder if... Oh! Yeah. Oh, no, no, no! Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, shit! Hold this paddle. Oh, shit! Dude, you're gonna have to walk this way. Sorry, G. You're gonna have to walk this way, because if I start paddling, your book bag's gonna fall, dude.